Okay, by now if you run your HTML script, what you should do is, um, if you looked at previous tutorials, we should have something like this where we've got our content uh, for our div. So what we're going to do in this video is look at the wrapper um, div. So as you can see, currently our page is just linked from here to here. There's no spacing or any gaps in between. And what ideally you should have, like if you look on most websites, let's just go check out the BBC website. Um, okay, on the left and right hand side, there's like space in between for um, which is usually that's how most um, websites are marginalized now. So we need to create that. Now to create that, what we need to do is create a wrapper. So what we need to add firstly is we need to above your top your first div. We're gonna type in a div. Go to class equals, and we're gonna call it wrapper. Okay, and then. The clo to close that wrapper, you're going to go all the way to the bottom after the final div, and then you're going to close it. Make sure you don't, if you close it straight away, then it will not work. Okay, so now we've got a wrapper there in between that wrapper. So there should be a wrapper. I'm going to indent that quickly. Press tab. Okay, so now you've got a wrapper. Now, what you're going to do, you go to your star sheet. Now, we're going to put the dot wrapper. Okay, and then we're going to do margin equals auto. Um, okay, and we do width. Oops. And we're going to make that eighty percent. Oops. Okay, width equals eighty percent. I'm going to close that wrapper off. Okay. You can just try making sure you put enough space in between. So wrapper, we're going to have the margin auto with 80%. So if we look at this now, we refresh that. We're going to put a semicolon there. Okay, remember to put a semicolon on here. That's why I mind that it moves. Now if you notice, it's now equally aligned both left and right and also um, what's happened is it's reduced in size. So now if you look at the size of it, it's basically 80% um, of whatever the width of your screen is. If I was to minimize that, notice it will still be 80%. Okay, no matter what size this device is or what size my screen becomes, this wrapper will always be 80% of the actual screen size. Now if I didn't put that 80% in, so for example, let's just say I did wrapper equals uh, 1200 pixels so if I specified an amount what would happen is okay it'll still be centralized it'll still look like what we want it to look like but now if I minimize it if you notice if I go across okay it doesn't adjust to the actual device you have to scroll across so this by doing 80% what you do is you um, make it responsive to the device that you're working on so 80% we should do that and now that's become a wrapper okay so now all your content is within a wrapper make sure once again remember make sure before your top div your first div and your last div you have a wrapper so it opens at the top div class equals wrapper and it closes right just before the body okay that's the wrapper